you know, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys are opening doors for each other. That's just very cute of you. I am sick and tired of your shit, Dito. You ungrateful piece of cake. Stop shitting everywhere all day and let E-Robert go. Hashtag cancel Dito. That's what I've been trying to say. Fuck Dito, this piece of shit. Actually a trash bag. Oh, all your homies love Dito, wide hardo. This is Dito's alt subreddit. Yeah, Dito's a piece of shit. I'm glad you guys are finally waking up to it. We are so proud of you, and you look nice today, miss. Aw, thank you guys for this. We'll always remember you. Shit, man, I don't know. Fuck. Yo. Oh, that's adorable, dude. Oh. Oh, man. If only Dito didn't do that to my carpet, I would love him so much more. Yo, it's my birthday today. 20 years old feels birthday, man. Shame it's such an important time in Sag. Stay strong. Love you, Miz and Miz Kiff Hug. Love you, buddy. Jawman2000. I don't know if you're in chat, but happy birthday, man. Happy fucking birthday. Super fucked up. <laughs> Listen, man. It's the internet, okay? It's the internet. It's... There's gonna be people that are gonna be shit. There's gonna be people that are gonna be trolling. There's gonna be people that are assholes. What are you gonna do? You know, and this is feeding the trolls by doing this. You you can't think of that. A lot of these people who are saying that kind of shit, they're trying to get under your skin. They're trying to make all this happen. You, you, you can't do that. Rachel, Jesus. You do look good today. And you're the most beautiful human being. Even if you don't think it in my eyes, you are so. Less than three. Rachel, you're not going to show up at my doorstep one day asking to move in, are you? What is this? Offline chat. I get it. You run a server. Don't run my Reddit too, okay? For the love of God. Please. Please. <laughs> I don't like, what the hell is that? This is cool, though. This is a cool. I, this is cool. I do like this. I think this is the first time I hung out with them. I don't remember. I really don't remember. But... Um, all right, let's get to live stream fails. Let's try to go through this. I know that a lot of people are just mourning Wreckful, uh, and we can look at clips. Look at Reddit, my Reddit post. Which one? Okay, we're going to move on. The amount of support is incredible. It's impossible to thank everyone, so I hope saying it here is good enough. Thank you. I will be better. <laughs> We hate you very much. <laughs> like, you can even put a less than three at the end of it. Uh, I yeeted my kid and get, dude, here's the thing. Live stream fails might be saying nice things about Alinity and stuff, but the whole rest of the internet still fucking hates her guts, you know? Um, like, you, dude, here's the thing. Live, like, Trainwrecks, for example, Trainwrecks is only hated on live stream fails. The community of round live stream fails only is the people that hate Trainrex. YouTube doesn't even know who Trainrex is. YouTube doesn't care who Trainrex is. Twitter doesn't give a fuck who Trainrex is. These people though, they fucking hate everyone. It's literally everyone One hates Alinity. Livestream Fails doesn't hate him. I think Livestream Fails is almost like, I, I just, I'm just scared about Livestream Fails, man. I, I don't want, I really, dude, I don't, I don't want it to go down the road that it's already gone down. And I'm afraid that People caring or people saying like, oh my God, oh my God, let's have a revolution. Let's change live stream fails for what it is and let's make it a better place. I have a feeling it's almost like these viewers because I could see it in their eyes and I get it. I, could, I feel like they're just doing it for content. You know, now is the lovey-dovey phase. It's the end of a season for them. It's just how they think. It's a, it's a, we're not, I, I don't think a lot of people are really going to change. It's content because in a few days from now now they're gonna go back to shitting on people like trainrex messaged me today feeling like trash he was feeling like such shit because him talking about his bipolarism and in his depressions and shit there was he, he showed me comments i'm not gonna show them on stream but there was hate he got genuine hate genuine hate for what for expressing how he feels for expressing that, and they're like, oh, like, he's just, he wasn't close to a train, like, he didn't know train. 
Just because him and Trey weren't close, and yeah, they didn't like, they had a lot of animosity towards each other. That doesn't mean Train can't sympathize and Train wanted him dead. That doesn't mean Train was up, like hated the guy and wanted him to die and didn't care about his suicide and didn't relate to him. They both were manic bipolar. You know? And I, I, a lot of them, not a lot of the mods, some of the mods have been messaging me or one of the mods had mods message me and they're trying to redo the place and make it better. Because I, I know that live streams can be a good place, but yes, it's shit. And they really need to work on some of the comments that happens and shit and the problems that go when along with it. But, uh, yeah, they're trying to fix it. They're trying this to deal with it. has been so fucking weird. It's been a weird ass year, man. It's been a weird year. I will, I will, 2020 has been, hopefully it will be the shittiest year, but we'll see. I mean, I, I don't know. What was I going to say? Yeah, I talked to them. I'm, tr I'm trying to tell them, like, dude, these words hurt these streamers, and I don't think they realize it, you know? There's not one streamer that gets on live stream fails that hasn't had very, very sad thoughts and, ver and, and, and feelings about comments and posts and especially Train. I mean, there's hate threads on Train all the time for the dumbest shit, you know, and making him feel like crap. It it's, it's bad. And then they're like, oh, well... You know, they're not harassing the streamers. What? Are you serious? Like, people were trying to claim that the friends of Wreckful didn't do enough, and they're calling out streamers. They called out me because I said that I didn't want to... I was 40 minutes away, and I didn't want to hang out with them sometimes. Yeah, Wreckful lived 40 minutes away, and Wreckful sometimes wanted to hang out with me at 4 in the morning when I was going to bed. You know, I'm not... I, I, if any friend, I'm going to say no. I'm going to go to bed. You know, they called out Andy Milonakis because one time Reckful said, fuck you, dude. Like, all you do is bother me whenever I have views. He, they called out uh, Soda Pop because like, oh, he was friends with them only years ago. Now all of a sudden he cares? It's like, how is that not harassment? How are those comments allowed to be there? That should be removed. Hey, Miz, my brother Tom and I love you. PC face. Heart eyes emoji. You know? It, it sucks. Uh... It sucks. So I I hope they can do better on live stream fails. I think one day they will, but right now, man. And I get it. You know, it's just like a view with my stream and just like with other people's streams. There's gonna be shitheads. There's gonna be trolls as we grow as a streamer and community, and we are growing. Pog champs and chat for that. As you grow, there's gonna be some fucks. There's gonna be some pieces of shit. There's gonna be some assholes in in, in it. Uh. You got to weed them out, but I just hope that they do weed them out, and I hope that they do a better job. Hope you are doing better, Miz. Prayers and love. Mm, I'm doing good. I, I'm, I'll be all right. Asmongold follows through with the original promise. Do you guys want to find out how much it was? Yeah. I hope viewers will have a better understanding of how comments can affect From streamers. Twitch alone. We raised eighteen thousand dollars. Eighteen thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight dollars. Just stream when they don't enjoy them instead of harassing them. From the donations on that day, we raised an additional fifteen thousand dollars. Every dollar and every cent, down to the last penny will be divided up under the percentages and given away. I couldn't in good conscience take the money. It was not, uh, I didn't I didn't even realize it was that high. I thought it was gonna be like 21,000 or something like that. It was way, way higher. Do you guys wanna find out how much it was? That's good, that's good shit. Good for Asmin, good for the community. I was blown away with how fast you guys got um, I guess obviously it was probably Hamad, you know, with the five thousand dollars. But I was blown away on how hey, fast Reckful's GoFundMe got sent. Done, and it, it's, I, it just shows you how many. Ki Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. But fifty-seven thousand dollars raised in three hours is disgusting. But honestly, dude, this is incredible, and it, it blows my mind how stupid people could be. But I guess because they don't know, and they're kids, maybe. But like the comments that are, are are attacking Jenna and attacking the family, being like, "Yikes, dude! Imagine getting a GoFundMe for a multi-millionaire." You don't know what the f 
fuck you're talking about? They, dude, you can't just go in Reckful's bank account, grab the money immediately, and just go, oh, it's mine now. It, that's not how things work. It takes months to get that money. It takes months for that shit to happen. And in order to get this plot, and in order for Reckful to be buried next to his brother, it you have to do it fast. It's not, it's not like they can just, you know, it needs to be done. They need to get the plot. And, you know, I, I don't understand how people could be so, I guess, it's stupid. Uh, and they also don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I mean, what Jenna said is true. It costs a lot of money to make his game. It's not some small fry game like, you know, uh, fucking, I don't know. Like, what's a really small game that you would play that, like, is popular? Uh, I'm looking around my room for something. Angry Birds or uh, you know, Valorant. Yo, Miz. Yo, hair looks great, dude. I had to wipe a dingleberry today, frown. Just shut up, man. After being falsely accused, Mewtwo King? No way. <laughs> no way. Is he, he's, he, not him too, right? Please. He's good. He's clean. Okay. Oh, fucking Christ. Dude, you know who I respect and I, I hope can fix this community of, of, of Smash? I know Ludwig's doing shit. I hope Ludwig can fix the community a little bit because they are fucked, dude. They are fucked. And I think they need some a boost right now because they are just fucked right now. Um, Ludwig, who else is, is big? Leffen. Uh... I still can't believe the zero shit. I still can't believe that. I mean, he was like, a, he was not a, f he was like friendly with me. I wouldn't say he was like a friend, super friend or like, I mean, we talked, we would DM each other once in a while. He would message me if I'm okay uh, or, or how he's doing. But I just like, God, God damn. It's just like, what the hell's happening in this community? The zero, uh, me and Maya after stream yesterday, we read the whole zero thing. And I don't know if you guys read it, but it sounded like, here's how it sounded like to me is he first said something he's like some girls came out on stuff on him and he's like oh here's why i this stuff doesn't add up you could see here here and here and here which and then these girls came out and they're like oh well here's more and he's like wait 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 but what was i gonna say did i get a hosted or something and it didn't pop up oh i love these scara sips ice mocha latte here we go Matcha latte, I think. I've never had one of these before. Let's go. Charmed, I'm sure. You know, in the world of uh, um, what was I gonna say, dude? This live stream feels right now needs clips like this. I, I I know we're going through a morning process, and they're going through a morning process, and that's healthy and that's good. But this is the kind of stuff they need. Just stupid, dumb clips of people. Like, just dumb fucking shit. That's what I want to see. I want to see more Scar drinking and eating stuff. You know, just having dumb shit going on. I feel like that'd be great. Uh, Chance went live, what? The worst part right now are the people on MSX Let's come back here someday when we're old. Oh, shit. Don't forget. For really, though. The ways that okay. They are coping with the current when we're 64. Events. Like Let's sit on this bench. And also Let me get a nice photo of the bench. Agreed. Don't forget. Right, okay, here. I'm gonna blur everything in the background. Uh, he w like he wasn't sure that either of these would help him, but he was just trying. I think his head, his brain was trying all the different options and see which one could or would stick eventually uh, so he was trying he was trying that's why he had all these you when you were watching him he always had these ideas right it could be like a really fresh idea and he was like would be very energetic about it and talk about it uh, and that, i think that's that was his brain's way of, of, of searching for this thing that would ultimately 
uh, bringing a, a longer lasting happiness, so to speak. Mm. So, yeah, that's that's what I think was going on with him. And uh, yeah, I mean, I you could say that with the shrooms, game. right? Uh, he like. I mean, he took shrooms literally any second he could. Uh, and with that, he was just trying to search for that happiness and trying to search for like the, you know, he tried He tried a lot. Yeah. But shrooms were his main forte or his main thing. Uh, yeah. How was Forzen? Was he good? I'm just scared. You know what I'm scared of? Is, is I'm scared that you guys and other people are going to think, because I've had these thoughts. I've had these thoughts, and, the, and it scares me because I've never had these thoughts. You know, it's like what Dr. K said and what I've heard other people say, where it's like, it's a domino effect, where you, you hear suicide. It's the cluster suicide thing, where it's like a chain reaction, where it's just like other people are thinking about it now, and other people are like, damn, if I kill myself... Uh, and stuff like that. And that scares me because, you know, it's not like Recful had one friend where, or he, he you know, he was alone. As dumb as it's going to sound. Recful had hundreds of thousands of people that knew about his death. So I just hope that you guys are going to be okay and other people are going to be okay. Because the chain reaction thing scares the shit out of me, especially with someone who was famous on the internet, you know? Like, that's scary to me. Okay. Chat. <laughs> okay, I fucking love you, boys. All right. Uh, but before I even knew about anything, okay, I'm telling you, I do.